to say, um, through the last few weeks, we were involved, Rebel Vibes, with a thing called Urban Star Contest, which is going to air on Shaw TV come October, and that's going to be right across the nation. I can't even tell you what channel it is out here, but I know it's on one of our um, local station channels. You got to search it up. Um, Google up Urban Star Contest if you can, or check them out online, urbanstarcontest.com. But um, more important than checking out the contest is checking out the artists that participated in the contest. The ones that made it from the uh, massive numbers down to the windling 45, and then, of course, the top five, top three, and then the winner of the Urban Star Contest, which will be airing again in October, but right now we have uh, we have finalists. We're just gonna say finalists of the Urban Star Competition who's here, and I know. <laughs> How does the thing go again, Colin? You already, know. you already know. You already know. Colin performed uh, inside the Shaw Studios this Thursday. Just Thursday past, we were in the Shaw Studios in Vancouver, and um, I'm gonna ask you to come closer to the mic. You so, got it. You, yeah, there we can get you nice and loud. And um, you performed, and I think you performed a live uh, mega medley. It lasted about 18 minutes long, and <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt, stole the show. And and we we keep talking about stealing the show. Stealing the show um, just represents the artist that stood out like a sore thumb. Sore thumb, not due to anything other than amazing talent. And that's definitely what you have. And that's why I asked you nice. if you wouldn't mind being here. You threw me for a loop. <laughs> Seriously, when I saw you in Vancouver, it shocked me to to, to see you do what you did with the guitar. I didn't even knew know at that time you played to that extent. I thought it was just like okay, a chord, and then <laughs> get yourself singing right. And I, I thought it was about keys when I first saw you with the guitar. I didn't realize the intensity of um, your musicianship. It was like crazy. Thank you, thank crazy. You. <laughs> so tell us about the process. Last time you were here, you were here with Get Stoked, Empress Mine, and mm -hmm. everyone who went through to the finals, mm -hmm. leaving Toronto, going to Winnipeg. What happened after that? Mm, it was uh, pretty crazy, actually. Like, uh, I didn't even expect to be. <laughs> I didn't even expect to be heading down there. But I mean, um, we went down there. We had a bunch of challenges. Obviously, can't tell you guys what those were. But yeah. I mean, um, really challenging. Really challenging us. Not only just as uh, our musicianship, but also our ability to work in that kind of industry. Mm -hmm. And I mean, because we all know that it's not all about just being good at music because um, I don't go to school for music so I know being being in school for music you have the mentality that everybody's just going to expect you to be good right so what else you know mm -hmm. if you're just good then you're just good yeah right what like everybody's good at that point there's a lot of people who are good but what can you take you to the next level what makes you mo the most marketable or why do people want to connect with you like that mm -hmm. X factor yeah you know? yeah you got an X factor yeah. you definitely have an X factor and that I think that our listeners need to understand how um, intense you are as an artist I encourage everyone to log on to colinresponse.ca that's C-O-L-I-N R-E-S-P-O-N S-E dot C-A almost I almost didn't spelt it right and <laughs> call it response dot C-A and uh, check out Colin and you got a campaign that you're running uh, or getting ready to yeah. launch which I think is so awesome <laughs> it's kind of a ridiculous story well, after um, after I came back from the whole Urban Star thing that well the night before I left um, all my luggage and all my gear, my guitar, everything got robbed from the back of uh, my van. Oh, my yeah. My roommate's van. Sorry, St. Clair. <laughs> I know Poor St. Clair. Clair. probably <laughs> listening to this right now. Feeling so terrible. He's just the <laughs> nicest guy, eh? Oh, he's a oh, great man. guy. So, so is um, Bijan. Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout out to today i mean who was who was the um creepy creepy dude the happy face <laughs> creepy man you, go. <laughs> you just gotta watch the finals to understand who the happy face creepy man is it um definitely is a, a good marketing strategy that you've you've built around yourself mm -hmm. to sell yourself as an artist like, mm -hmm. i mean your talent sell yourself alone mm -hmm. but the marketing the happy face balls <laughs> the happy face this. and i mean even i want to say good day um if listening by chance to mr henriquez who is an architectural designer and owner of a major establishment out in Vancouver, BC, who is just on the road and saw us doing a photo shoot with you um, with some crazy things. And, 
and um, stopped and wanted to know, like, what's call and response? What is this? What's going on? And yeah. um, I want to say good day to Mr. Henriquez because um, we're going to find a way to hook up with you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to definitely find a way to hook up with you and um, make some things happen. Now, i seen the progress uh, from Toronto to actually getting to Vancouver. Mm. Not going to Winnipeg because we had a little um, shuffle, <laughs> a little step to the side where that was concerned and uh, made our way out to Vancouver instead just for the finals. Mm. And in coming out there for the finals, we already know, but um, the listening audience doesn't know who the winner is. And um, due to confidentiality, we'll keep that under wraps until the airing. But Again, going back to your performance and the studio audience mm -hmm. and DJ Kimo mm -hmm. and Elaine Little Bit Shepherd and Chris Sharp, um, all of them were just like, wow, just wow, um, performance wise. Influences, influences when it comes to your music. Um, influences, it was interesting. I actually grew up um, listening to classical music. I started playing like alto saxophone when I was really young. Wow. Um, not that young, like grade seven. But. Um, a lot of my a lot of my influences come from classical music and video game music. To be honest, ah, video game music. Video game music. <laughs> exactly. It's not all evil. It's not all evil. It's so um, a lot of my stuff came from that, and that's why you'll you'll notice it's kind of eclectic, right? Mm -hmm. Because well, uh, the, it's it's really just it's kind of like classical music, just diff, different instrumentation, right? Yeah. But. I just, I keep in mind all the, I guess my dad listened to a lot of reggae music, um, my, my sisters listened to a lot of pop music, and um, when I was in high school, friends of mine listened to a lot of rock music, so it all kind of just got mashed into, into one thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I live with uh, my, my roommate raps, and like, it's just, it's everything it's just, crazy. I just don't discriminate against any type of music, I just try to just take everything I like yeah. and, and put it all into one. Fuse it all together in one. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, again, I... I don't even know what to say about you because I could sit here and brag and boast. But what I want, what I want um, our listening uh, ears to do out there is, while you're on the internet and you're searching and you're doing your your research. Search up Call and Response. Watch for the campaign that's about to launch um, in support of his next steps as an artist. And um, we, we, we got to forget about all the things that are lost and look forward to all of the great things that are about to come. Because I think when you're seen on TV and they understand exactly who you are, the, the outpour is going to be amazing for you. And you're going to go some tremendous places. I think you already are moving in a direction that was mm -hmm. different from a few months ago mm -hmm. with this whole experience and, and I'm sure it strengthened you too yes it did for sure yeah. I want to say good morning to Bernard to Honey Hay um, the other two finalists and you're going to have to watch UrbanStarContest.com uh, follow up when the airing date is to find out who won and um, who's the runner up and who didn't quite make it but remember the talents are all massive and tremendous because they were the last Three. And to everyone who moved on from Toronto and the five finalists um, in total that made uh, made it to that point, congratulations to you again. And Colin, um, I know there's a rhythm playing in the background, and it's another one of those put you on the spot things. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Lord, Gary Mullins, why you doing this to me? You can do it. You can do it. Or actually, we can bring it down and we can tell them about like you already know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh, response dot ca. Check him out online. Good vibes. Great individual and an amazing talent. I want to see people support um, you and your mission and definitely your music. And mm -hmm. again, much love, man. Much love and guidance. Thank you so much. Yeah. So give them a little bit of call and response, man. I said the way it works is you fall apart She dances in the rain I said the way it works is you fall apart When you look at her She dances in the rain Yeah And I'd like to say Keep me away but am I wrong? Oh, and I like to say, keep me away. But am I wrong? Yeah, 
your quality over quantity. <laughs> It's the very thought that is haunting me And you're the type worth the time Though you seem hyper most of the time <laughs> You just want to relax this one time <laughs> Stress free from your mind Yeah well I'll keep that in my mind And, and it'll sit beside the heap in my mind <laughs> Yeah, uh, that same heap That bonds my chest to the pain so rugged that inside I weep That same pain that bonds me from the sleep I just attempted to relive the same dream that last night I dreamt of Of you next to me, a butt instead of I sit up alone at night <laughs> Sit up alone feeling an awful tight pain in my chest That couldn't hurt less feelings I'm trying to repress Simply supersede the stress Evident originality as this an anomaly No, I think it's just fulfilling the prophecy I know I think it's just fulfilling the prophecy Of her laying on him instead of on top of me This feeling's reoccurring yet constantly shocking me Until I stop to see what I fought not to see And realize I can't just leave it up to chemistry If what I really want is for her to connect to me And though whatever is meant to be is meant to be Well, I have a certain self-respect for me And since there really isn't anybody hexing me I should be the one and only cause and effect me But, <laughs> I said the way it works is you fall apart She dances in the rain, yeah I said the way it works is you fall apart when you look at her She dances in the rain Wow, call and response. Please, please support the cause, support the artist, his music, and the mission. Call and response.ca and watch when the uh, campaign starts. I know I'm going to be on your, on your case. I'm pushing your campaign. <laughs> and um, again, not enough respect. Thanks for definitely being here. And um, yeah, we're going to watch. And we hope, we hope you'll come back again for sure. Yes. For Thank sure. You, I will be back for sure. Any shout outs you want to give? Um, I want to give a shout out to Honey Hey, Bijan, Bernard, everyone, everyone from Urban I want to give a shout out to. I want to give a shout out, of course, to all my fans, my family, this little man right here. Carl, yeah, who's Carl. trying to steal, steal your stage time. <laughs> um, and uh, I just want to say, I'm even though most of my t-shirts kind of got robbed in the van, I still got a, a couple left. I'm going to be giving some of those out in the campaign. Um, I'm going to be giving out some custom posters and stuff just trying to uh, generate that revenue again so I can get my album out there and um, hope to see you guys all on the page uh, call and response dot ca just about having a good time and we're going to be um, proud to give one lucky winner a call and response t-shirt. But what you got to do in order to get his t-shirt is email us at rebelvibes at chry.fm. And once you've gone on call and response.ca, I'd like to see one paragraph of who you feel call and response is. And um, yeah, the first one who can give it to us nicely will get a t-shirt. And we're looking for um, you to have a good time with that also. So do it quickly. And we'll also give you two tickets to the World of Dance along with that t-shirt. Worldofdance.com Sunday, September 18th. It's the World of Dance 2011 tour at the Sound Academy at 11 Polson Street here in Toronto. We got two tickets and a call and response t-shirt for you. So send us in an email, one paragraph. Tell us about call and response off of checking his website, callinresponse.ca Much love, Virgin. Thank you. Man, Thank much you. love. And we're going to get into um, some music before taking a commercial.